Hello and welcome back to another Fortnite video. Season 5 came out today and I'm loving it. Um, and also, before we get into the video, comment down below what do you think of Season 5? I'd love to know what you think of Season 5. It was a smooth launch, but currently, PSN, Discord, are having problems. Um, so you can't really party up on PSN right now I'm doing this video. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to go through all the map changes that have been changed uh, in Season 5. So the new locations and stuff that's been added around the map for Season 5, Week 1. So goodbye Swampy, Moistermeyer. Um, so if you didn't know, Moistermeyer is now gone. And instead of Moistermeyer, we've got a new desert biome, which is great. I'm actually liking the desert a lot. Finally, Battle Royale, Battle Royale has a desert biome. Um, and it's really great. So in the desert we have a new point of interest which is called Paradise Palms. And this place, by the way, the desert Paradise Palms is normally <laughs> there's normally a lot of people going there right now because you know Season 5 came out today. Um, so that should change maybe soon. But it's still a good place to go. And then again the desert is like I said, it's stunning basically. Um, there's quite so much stuff to, and also the bug is spawned there. They also spawn at the golf cart, which we'll get on later. So, the Durburger is found, it's safe and sound, and it's on the battery map. map. Snare Loot Lake. So, Anarchy Acres has been replaced with a new golf themed point of interest, um, and it's called Lazy Lynx. And if you want a buggy, the cat, um, then your best bet is to go to Lazy Links because it is a golf caddy, basically. Um, and that's, you get quite a few there at Lazy Links, which is replaced Anarchy Acres. So Dusty Divot is now completely overgrown. The small ponds have formed around the crater. And also, by the way, there is no more Hot Rocks um, here on the island, which is good. It changes the gameplay up. So there's a new Viking outpost that has appeared on the mountain between Greasy Grove and Snowy Shores. And that anchor that was teleported before the season is actually um, near that somewhere. I think it's not on the mountain, it's at the bottom of the mountain somewhere. Near the waterfall. So the non sign is safe and sound, but Tomato Man is however still missing. <laughs> I don't think tom the Tomato Man head is actually on the map right now, um, so I don't know where that's gonna where that's gone. But the Nom sign is top right of the map near Risky Wheels. So a mysterious statue has a has appeared between Loot Lake and Dusty Divots. Um, also, I think it has a chance of spawning free chest. So there's more statues that are throughout the map. Each dash group can spawn up to three chests as you can see. Um, the real one behind behind the statue as well. So there's some of the changes, I think all of the changes that have happened during season five, week one. If I did miss anything, comment down below because I'd love to know if I did miss anything. I don't think I have um, but just in case um, then comment down below. Anyway, subscribe and smash the like button for more Fortnite videos and stay tuned for more season five videos coming your way soon. Um, subscribe for that and I'll see you in the next video.